Hey guys, welcome back to some more Rory McIlroy PGA Tour and part three of our career mode. In today's episode, we begin the career builder challenge in the PGA Tour. Thank you for all the incredible support on last week's episodes. You guys seem to really enjoy it and uh, have a nice chill while watching a bit of golf. And I certainly enjoyed revisiting this game and, and, and giving it a go. So uh, we will be doing, you know, episodes for the foreseeable future. You know, uh, for the, those of you guys that watch my FM content, as few of you that they may be, um... I'm, I'm taking a bit of a break from it. I'm just not enjoying playing football manager at the moment. And that's the first time in about 12 years that I can say that. Um, so I'm taking a bit of a break from it. And uh, I'm sure you guys um, will, uh, you know, understand that. And, uh, you know, in its place we're going to be playing um, more fun games for me anyway at the moment. And I think the, the, the content and the views are a lot better on the channel now that I'm doing that. So uh, thank you guys for the support. I really do appreciate it. We're going to be doing three quick rounds today. Uh, I think the format worked quite well last time out where we do three quick rounds and then uh, do the full round in the next episode. So yeah, obviously we won last time out. I'm not expecting to do that every time. Uh, obviously it's going to depend on the course and the conditions and uh, the AI at the end of the day, you know, we'll have to see. This is EA Sports PGA Tour coverage coming up next. Today it's live opening round coverage of the Career Builder Challenge. So Jim Herman leading the way, five under Sergio Garcia and Justin Thomas up there as well. Let's see if we can in, chase them down. Let's get you caught up as we go down to hole number 14. And as we catch We're already two under. Frank really putting together a solid round. An important stretch of holes coming up here late in this round too. And uh, to post a score makes such a big difference. That score will stand in good stead at the end of the day. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. Pretty good start. Putting all of his talents on display here from the rough and he knocks it really close. Beautiful shot. That's it. Nice start with the birdie. Go to three under. Best player at the college level. Our featured golfer makes birdie, sitting comfortably inside the cut line. Now to the par four, 15th hole, 468 yards. Frank, what do you like about number 15? The variation of the bunkering here, Rich, I think is excellent. The bunker that meanders its way down the right side tends to go to the right, and then you start to see those two bunkers down the left side. Um, you've really got Come to on. That second one on the oh. That requires a little bit ambitious there, perhaps. Yards. From there on in, you've got a chance. Second shot coming out of the rough here. Not the best lie in the world, but I'll tell you what. We've pulled out an absolute cracker there to get that onto the green. On the green. My word. For Pretty long putt right here. You'd be happy to get it to within two, three feet. Just go for the lag putt here. Not bothered about where it ends up. It's decent. Always two components to the long lag putt. The speed, number one, and then the read. And missed out on that second part. Nice par there. No damage done. Made the par. We need to get we're driving sorted out. This Off is the, the first two hitting the rough. PGA West of 600 or more yards. The 16th is a pretty good test. That's pretty good. Should be able to reach this in two. To be honest with you. Really elevated tee. Excellent start off the tee. That's a great way to begin this hole. Now the second shot to the par five. It's just weather. Uh, the wind's going to take here. It's pretty good if it sits. And it does. Took the chunk out of the fringe there. On the green. And that's never too bad. So... 
Run up the feet here, so give it a little bit of extra welly. Plenty of. Uh, oh my word! Oh! Oh! You can't afford from uh, inside ten feet. It just you feel like you have to make those, and uh, I mean, they really sting when they miss. And with that birdie, moves into second place. I can't believe how close we were to that uh, eagle there. They call it Alcatraz. Just sitting out there on the water, 168 yards away, Frank. Well, speaking of water, that water looks so peaceful, doesn't it? It'd be a shame to spoil it with a splash. Be careful here. Well, this is straight at it. And it's a really good line. Very good. No problem. Very good indeed. Really good approach shot. And now, good looking birdie. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. Just a little bit short on the swing there, and that's why it's not quite made it. Three different angles. He forgot one very important ingredient. Yeah, pace. You can definitely fall in love with the line, even with approach shots as well, but obviously we see it more on putting. Final hole of the day. Well, Frank, hopefully the player has arrived here at 18 in a pretty good frame of mind. If not, you have to be thinking, oh, here we go again. Water left. I mean, you, you could shoot 100 out here on this golf course if you don't have your best stuff. Yeah, this is a, another example of, um, you, you're right, if you've got the bad mojo going, this is not the hole you want to be playing. Water left, bunkers right. Um, somewhere in between, though, this fairway. Frank, this approach shot seems pretty straightforward just don't hit it left yeah it's 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 a tough second shot it's that visual once again you've got that green that's angled to the left but once again like a few holes out here you do not have to hit directly at this flag you're allowed to move that flag mentally 15 even 20 feet to the right there's nothing wrong with that I'm gonna give this a bit of a put just to try and get it nice and close to the flag and maybe even get it in. Oh my word, that was close. Wow. Just a formality here. There we go. Another par on the scorecard. Good job right there. A decent round at the end of the day. Four under. One off the clubhouse lead. Frank, what's the mindset after this first day? Well, the important thing is uh, just try and play smart, get a feel for the golf course. That's what you try and do on the opening round. And now that the players have seen it, we should see some better scores tomorrow. So right in contention there, and uh, certainly in the chase and pack as we go into the Friday, which will be interesting um if we can maybe snag a lead that would be good but i'm honestly quite comfortable with just staying in this little pack um you know making sure of par not going for for too many risks um at this stage so yeah we'll get into the second day this is ea sports ega tour coverage coming up next It's second round coverage of the Career Builder Challenge. Jim Herman leading the way again. What a hole this is. 255 yards, par three, water everywhere you look. This is a real test. It's called Amen, and whatever religion that uh, you subscribe to, uh, you better say a prayer before this one. Well, look out. This, this could, could be, be pretty wet. good. It's heading towards the hazard. Wow, lucky break right there, Frank. Wow. That's what everyone else is going to say, except him. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Oh. Just a little too much juice on that birdie putt, Frank. It was bold. Very bold. Well, not bad. He'll take par and move on. We're at the seventh now, 346 yards, with plenty of water on that right side. How do you handle this one, Frank? You've got to pick a target there. A lot of people think when they're laying up off the tee, and that's exactly what this hole is, it just blaze away at something down the left side. But if you're going to pick a tree, you just pick the tree. Pick a branch or a leaf. Be more specific. That is tasty looking right there, Frank. Just a perfect spot in the fairway. That is prime real estate. How do you get a lie like that? Seriously, you could hit any club from there. 
soft it in a bit with an extra club. Headed for the yeah, end. We'll settle for that. An incredible shot. That is a very makeable putt after a great approach. Well played. Again, just a little bit wide. Well, that would have been a bonus had it gone in, but still, reasonable chance for par here. Yeah, there's no damage. You're not going to birdie every hole. Continues to roll it very well all day long. Now the second par five on this opening nine here at PGA West. Frank, what are we looking at? The bunker down the right side gives you that optical illusion because it sort of has that curvy edge to it, plus it sort of me moves its way to that right side. And then you notice there's a bunker on the left that sneaks in on the left side. So this isn't just sort of blaze away off the tee. It still requires a good straight tee shot. Um, if you do air a little bit, then you've got to be very cognizant of the bunkers up on the left side as you get closer to the green. That was an absolutely terrible hit. I think we're okay. Well, look at that. That was a big, bold strike, and now a chance for a big, bold move. Putt for Eagle coming up. That oh! Right there. Almost went in. Uh, at least Again, very close. Past the hole. So, just replicate that on the way back. Frank, you've navigated so many leaderboards in your career. This is the way to do it, isn't it? Oh, there's plenty of holes ahead too, Rich. Third place, a really good position to be playing from here on in. Just need to watch this water on the right-hand side. Hit a nice straight drive. That is absolutely brilliant. Oh, that's fine. Right where we want it. Frank, the Skins game was played at PGA West, the stadium course, many years ago. 1987, Lee Trevino did something that, that really uh, stood out with a lot of fun. Yeah, to make a hole-in-one anywhere is, is obviously something to, to be remembered. But when you do it on TV, national TV, and on wow. all like 17, Alcatraz, all the way across the water, everybody complained about how hard the golf course was, and Trevino gives it that little bang, little cut, bang, in it goes, one. Trevino could play any golf course, no matter how hard it was. It, it, it was a one that was worth one seven five comma zero zero zero, 175,000 bucks. That won him the carryover skin in the skins game. Well, pretty happy with that uh, birdie on the final hole there. And well, we pick up another shot just before the end of the day. Staying in second place, one off leader Jim Herman going into moving day which is the Saturday, of course. Um, and we'll get into that one, and hopefully we can stay in this crowd. That is what I want uh, to do, is, is stay in this little crowd that are chasing the leader. And, um, you know, if we can give ourselves every chance of winning two tournaments in a row at the start of the season, I mean, you couldn't wish for anything this better than GM that. Sports, PGA Tour coverage coming your way. Today it's live third round coverage of the Career Builder Challenge. Well, Jim Herman's dropped a couple of shots. Frank There's a couple of guys that are, are going West. for it. it at the sixth, and here again at the seventh, a challenging par four, 346 yards. I've never oh, ever seen anyone try That's to terrible. So it's just a layup. See the bunker down there in the distance that really is the stop sign. So something that's short of that, but really what I prefer is try and lay up on a nice number. Something that you've got a full shot in, whether that be a 9-on or an 8-on or a wedge. You'd like to have a full club in here. About 25 feet from the cup. Made a par in his previous round. This time, it's for birdie. Oh, again, very close. Very well done. Almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. And getting ready for the putt. Just need to keep getting the pars, you know. Looks like Herman's dropped off massively. No and Wilkinson are there, but uh, you know we're only one shot off at the moment. Frank, is this a two-shotter or a three-shotter? Uh, good question, Rich. It starts to shrink down by the walkway, which is around that 330-yard mark. Uh, that's the decision has to be made. Personally, I think you try it at first, because even if you do find a fairway bunker, then it is certainly a layup. 
If you've got the distance, uh, it's well worth the risk. Our driving is not on form so far. But at some point, you have to hit a fairway. Yeah, he's uh, certainly not the straightest. I think that was the bit you're going to put in the middle. So, I'll try and get back onto the fairway, and I think we have done as long as that stops, and it has done. The fairway, and now he's back where he needs to be. Yeah, minimise the problems. Oh dear. Not enough on that one. Yeah, it just seemed to baby it. And setting up here in the rough. Well, could have our first ball game of the weekend here if we're not careful. Oh, we could have it, birdie. Well, wow, look at that. Just a phenomenal play right there. Wow, very, very fortunate there. GA West in McKinsey, California. 559 yard par five. Frank, what are the options here? A good tee shot, you can certainly reach this par 5 and 2. There's a crosswalk that comes across um, in that vicinity of 330 yards. That's sort of the, the green light area if you can get it down there. Anything short of that, it becomes uh, very much a three shotter. But if you can get it close to that crosswalk that goes there, then certainly this becomes opportunity knocks. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. Not the worst. Chance to close out the front side here with a birdie. Birdie here yesterday, trying to do it again today. Don't think that's gonna happen. No. Missed on just that. a lag put there, just yeah, just to guarantee us the par. Right currently sitting at one under for the round. And there we go. Nicely played. He's made it. Two holes to go. Well, that was a nearly flawless performance on the front side. But no, Frank, three holes. It's an 18-hole game, isn't it? That's right. Now's not the time to pat yourself on the back. But this one has a chance to be really good. Pretty good drive here. Another straight one. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot he is on the fairway over 300 yards. Just gonna go an extra club because of that wind. Hazard, maybe wet. So the second oh, okay. of the par four goes begging, and now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. Let's see if he does it here. Great shot out of the rough. He avoided all the troubles just to get that on the green. That was not an easy shot. He'll settle. Very nearly missed that. But we managed to have the par save. Herman, well, where's he come from? Where's he come from? Now at the long par 5, 11th. They call it eternity with good reason. It is 617 yards. Oh, my word. That is right. That's in the hazard. Uh, hopefully only a couple of times. Frank, they threw him a life vest. He's back on dry land. And I hope this time he swings. He doesn't have the water wings on. Third time now. Tee off again. Yeah, you can still minimize the damage here. It's only one bad shot. That's bad that. I'm going to have to reach this into, although I'm not sure we can, to be honest. I'm going to have to take the bogey and move on, I think. In a lot of trouble now. Just completely miss it the the first drive, still at which uh, I'm still a little bit confused about, but uh, never mind. Oh, well, not even that is a guaranteed. Yeah, 18 feet to be exact. It's no snack though. Big put here, and we've got it. What a massive put that is! To maintain bogey and within three of leader Herman. If that turned into a double triple, you can pretty much count us out. What might be going through a player's mind right here? You're going to play it as a layup. You know that's a given. It's just what distance you want, and and for every distance you're going to hit it off the tee. 
Pete Dye gives you a different challenge. If you lay it all the way back, obviously you've got the widest fairway. Then you've got the longer second shot. Get a little closer, it starts to shrink up, shrink up, shrink up. So it's how much do you want to bite off? Slight waggle, relaxed arms, ready to go. Rich, it's a different challenge today. The weather is, uh, is so day-to-day -day out here, and, and um, when you get a breeze like this that's kicking up, you really have to sort of change your uh, approach to playing these holes. It looks nice out there, the blue skies, plenty of high sun. Get in! Come on! Wow, we needed that. That birdie keeps us in contention over the weekend. And wow, what a roller coaster round that was. Yeah, to be in the top five right now, the caliber of this field, know that uh, your game is good enough too, and, and a legitimate chance of taking home the trophy come tomorrow night. This really is what all those hours on the range contribute to this moment. Wow! How has Jim Herman turned that around? He's 14 under. That is absolutely crazy. He was two over when we started the round. He's then made up another uh, six shots, I think it is, to get a 14 under. And well... We are in trouble if we want to be winning uh, this Career Builder Challenge. But if you've enjoyed that, then make sure you leave a like down below. It really does help me out. It means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for regular golf content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. And goodbye.